Wait and see. Wait and see. I want to thank God for the privilege of getting to know Papa, God's servant. Uh, the first encounter I had with him was at the breakfast meeting of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International, Ibadan, where I was privileged to be the vice president, and he was invited all the way from Kaduna, and that was 1985, 36 years ago. And I have found in these 36 years consistency, commitment, dexterity, focus. His message since then in 36 years has not changed. His focus has not changed. His energy is difficult to describe. And when the Iyanokbaja project was going on, I was privileged to visit. And as he was taking me around to see what was going on, at a point I couldn't walk at his pace. He looked back and he saw that I was not just opening my eyes, my mouth were opened. <laughs> Yoruba people said, when a sin is big enough, you don't just look at it with your eyes, but with your mouth. And when he saw my mouth open a jar, he said, why is that? I said, I'm just saying, how? Because he was building like Julius Berger, like federal government, day and night. And he said a word with me that remained with me. I took it to a bad and it changed my life. He said, it can happen anywhere. <laughs> that what is here can happen anywhere. One day he came around to our city, Ibadan, and I got to Winners, Bashoro, and I said, look, we are trying to buy a property. We did launching and distributed a pledge form. That was the last time I distributed pledge forms. <laughs> pledge went out. Pledge never came in. <laughs> so I took him to that land. Sir, you remember, sir? We... God, the, and the humility of Papa is something else. The humility that you could see people like us and, and accommodated. And it has been so ever. He looked at the place and he pronounced his blessing. We have not been able to pay. But after he stepped on that ground, today we call it Dominion City with 10,000 cathedrals and so many a school guest houses and everything. I want to thank God for meeting you, sir. And mama, God bless you. You have been a blessing to me. You have been a blessing to my family. I tie my jacket to his jacket so that when I'm getting too slow, he pulls me along. And it's no more... <laughs> and it's been a wonderful time, a wonderful life knowing you, sir. And uh, just like Abishab John Prince said, if this is the wilderness face, we will all join our shirt to your jackets. So that at least we keep moving along. God bless you. I love you. I love Winner's family. We are part of this family. I am part of Winner's family. And coming here is a blessing time and time again. I love this. 40 years. It's a lesson and a message we are taking home. God bless you.